Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about how mathematically describe phylogenetic trees. We are going to talk about NUIC format and we are going to practice a little bit. But before that I want to tell you the history of this method which we use in bioinformatics and take a look at this picture. So it was developed by Arthur Cayley in 19th century. He proposed to use in order to describe phylogenetic trees, commas and parentheses. Arthur Cayley, English mathematician, proposed this method more than 150 years ago, but why this method is called Newick and not Cayley. 100 years later, a group of the mathematician scientists met at the restaurant in the Dover and the restaurant name was Newick Lobster House. This group of scientists met twice at this restaurant and they decided that this method developed by Arthur Cayley was very convenient to describe phylogenetic trees for computers. So this is very convenient way to fit computer with information. So minimum information is needed. This is exactly what was needed in 1984. And they decided to adapt this description format to describe phylogenetic trees and they call it NUIC. So NUIC stand here for the name of the restaurant where they met and not like uh, abbreviation where each letter stand for something. This is just a name of the restaurant. Now let's return to our phylogenetic trees and let's learn how to use this method. It is very, very simple. Take a look. For example, we have a group here of three species A, C and E. So we write down them as follows. A, comma, C, comma, E and put them in parentheses. And we also have here a group B and D. So we describe them as B, comma and comma D and also include in parentheses. So as you see, very easy language. And also we add semicolon here. That means that we end a description of this phylogenetic tree. What if we don't have letters? Can we still construct such phylogenetic tree without letters? Yes, we can. Take a look. In this case, it's going to look as follows. So blank space and comma, parenthesis, blank space, comma, blank space, comma, parenthesis, comma, and underscore, parenthesis, and semicolon. What if, for example, you want to add genus and species name instead of just letters? Then instead of letter, you just add genus, underscore, and species name. So they have to be separated by underscore, which stands for the blank space. So instead of just one letter, use full genus and species name separated by underscore. And what if you want to make your phylogenetic tree with branches of the different size. For example, let's say that the size of this branch is going to be 5 units, 3.5 units here, 4 units here, 2 units here and 1 unit here. In this case, a description would be as follows. We open parentheses, then go B, colon, 5, comma, and then go parenthesis A and the length is going to be so colon 3.5 comma then C colon 4 comma then E colon 2 and we close parenthesis then go comma D colon 1 and we close parenthesis and add semicolon. This is going to be a description of the phylogenetic tree with branches of the different size. Now, as you see for yourself, this is very convenient format for 
computers to build phylogenetic trees. Just imagine that this method was developed almost 100 years before the computers themselves. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.